Did you know that Amazon has a free, powerful keyword research tool called Search Query Performance? If you're brand registered, this tool is vital for optimizing your listing and for targeting highly profitable keywords with your Amazon PPC campaigns. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to pull and find your search query performance report and how to easily interpret the data because it's really messy and easy to get lost. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Summer Hobart. My wife, Allie, and I are seven-figure Amazon sellers. And every single week, we create valuable tutorials and videos like this. So if you like this video, consider giving the video a thumbs up and subscribing for more. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so first things first is you wanna log in to your Amazon Seller Central account. Once you're there in the top left drop down, go ahead and click, scroll down to where you see brands, and then you wanna click on brand analytics. And then once you're here, you have some different options in the top kind of left tab. So customer loyalty analytics, uh, consumer behavior, but we want search. So hit the drop down for search analytics and then select search query performance. This is really the goal that we wanna extract. There's some other great data within the brand analytics umbrella as well. So click on search query performance and you'll get to a screen that looks like this. It looks really messy and scary, but don't worry. Once we're here, go ahead and select your brand if you have multiple. For reporting range, here's what I'd recommend and what I do. I select quarterly, the most recent year and the most recent quarter within that year, or maybe a top selling period within the past year. But the most up-to-date data is what we want. And quarterly, we're gonna look at data from the quarter versus we have the option of looking monthly or weekly. So again, you can slice and dice the data and look at different periods to extract more data. But if you want a simple approach, just do this. Click on apply. And then basically we're extracting all of our brand's data. And I'll show you kind of the important data that we want to extract here for this quarter. So there's a lot here in the bottom. And to best really analyze and extract the most valuable keywords from this data, what you want to do is click on generate download. For this, use simple view and then click generate download. And then once we've done that, as you'll see, we'll open a new tab. It'll just take a few minutes to download. Now I've already created one earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on download and it's gonna download all of that data that you saw in the table there on the previous screen as a CSV file that we can really work with. And what I've gone ahead and done is just uploaded that CSV file into Google Sheets because I like to use either Excel or Google Sheets. And if you know me, I love Google Sheets for its kind of interactive capability. And the reason I've kind of displayed it like this specifically is obviously it's a big mess, looks really ugly, but I've gone ahead and highlighted some important columns that you wanna focus on and look at in order to extract those keywords. So first we have the search query column that you see here. Next, impression brand share percentage, click brand share percentage, cart ads or add to cart brand percentage. Those are the main that I recommend kind of looking at. And there's some other data in here as well. But basically, what percent of impressions for this particular search term were for our brand versus all the other brands? Okay, so again, posture corrector, you know, 0.05. So multiply that by 100 to get your percentage. You can actually change these if you want into percentage format, but I'm going to leave it as is. So very, very low, right? Posture corrector, the same for clicks. 0.06 of brand share for clicks. So it's kind of like, how many clicks did we get for this? How many impressions did we get for this? And by the way, if you're not already familiar, impressions are basically views, visibility, seen. That being seen for this keyword, getting clicked on for this particular keyword, and then cart ads for this keyword. So, you know, what percentage of people are adding to cart, okay? So it's kind of like, okay, cool. Why is that valuable? Well, what we want to look for is discrepancies between our add to cart brand share percentage and the clicks and impressions brand share percentage. And a specific formula that we have to kind of extract these valuable keywords is, basically we wanna find keywords also called search queries. And basically the difference between a keyword and a search query, a keyword is a word or a phrase that you're targeting. Search query is what someone searches on Amazon. They can be kind of used interchangeably depending on the circumstances it's for optimizing your listing, Amazon advertising. Um, so I use it interchangeably, not to confuse you, but I'm gonna call it keyword. So search queries are our keywords right here. We wanna find, okay, what keywords have an add to cart or cart ad brand percentage that is higher than our click percentage and our impression share percentage? Why do we wanna know that? Because imagine a keyword that has high add to carts, but has low visibility. So not a lot of people are seeing it. Not a lot of people are clicking on it. What does that mean? That means if we maybe start targeting it with our Amazon advertising, if we make sure it's included somewhere in our listing, what does that all of a sudden happen? You target with advertising, you add to your listing, you start getting more impressions for that keyword. Then what happens? Then you get more clicks. 
and you should maintain the same add to cart. So you have high add to carts, but low, you know, on this part of the funnel, add to cart, but low impressions and clicks. If you increase this, this will stay the same, but you'll ultimately get more add to carts, right? Because that percentage stays the same. Does that make sense? I know it's a little bit complex, uh, but I've actually created the sheet to make it very simple. And basically with this sheet, you just copy and paste your search query performance report here. Literally just upload it, copy and paste it in. That's it. Once you do that, next step is what are the current keywords that you're targeting either in your listing or your Amazon advertising? I like doing these separate. So first for your listing, then for your Amazon advertising. So don't necessarily duplicate keywords that you're already targeting. So let's say I'm targeting all of these keywords, for example, in my Amazon advertising campaign, and I wanna find these new profitable, or sorry, these new high potential keywords. They have high add to carts, low impressions and clicks, and add them to my um, advertising. That gives us our new targets. So basically, all of these new targets, these are all of our keywords that have high add to cart percentage share, low impression share, and low click share, and we're not already targeting it, right? So we don't do, double duplicate so basically all you do is you copy and paste your search query performance report here, and then it generates the new targets for you literally in an instant. It's really that simple, okay? And I wanna kind of explain out the process so you can recreate this for yourself. And if you do want this exact sheet, this is for students only because it's so valuable. So for all students in our Amazon PPC mastery course on Udemy, which I'll be linking below in the description section, this is available for them. But I kinda of wanna show you this to kind of show you how it works, but it's very, very simple. So that's pretty much it. That's it, it's that simple right? High potential keywords. We want to make sure that if we're not already including them in our listing or advertising, we take those new targets, add them. What should happen? We get more impressions, more clicks for those keywords, and then ultimately maintain the same add to cart percentage. So we get more added carts, we get more purchases. That's kind of how it works. So really simple when you know what to look for. People overcomplicate it or go way in the weeds. Obviously there's more data here that you can work with. There's more data within brand analytics as well. But instead of overcomplicating and kind of always talking about the new next thing that just you know gets people bogged down and kind of doesn't focus on what's really important, this is really a key, key part uh, of brand analytics. And in my view, the best way to use the search query performance report. So I hope you like this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. For more, be sure to check out our full and affordable Amazon PPC course on Udemy. I'll be linking that again in the description section below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. God bless you and your business and look forward to seeing you in the next one.